Welcome to Glorious by the Fogo. This is going to be a rapid fire edition. So sit back, grab a drink, and let's get into it. And just in case you're wondering, what is this jersey? Sometimes I wear this one or a black one that has this this little logo on it. This is a local team here from my town that I coach. I'm the director for the for the football club. So if you're wondering why do you wear this jersey, I coached tonight. My son is on the team. So I got home, I ate dinner, I sat down, and I'm recording this video for you. So let's get started. Marlon Freitas will stay about the Fogo. Vasco da Gama, one of the biggest rivals from the club, has been trying to sign the midfielder from Botafogo. And we know that Marlon Freitas had a rough end of last year and a very rough beginning of the year, the season. But it, it's his luck has come around. The supporters have come around. And he's been doing good for the club. And John Texter said, thanks, but no thanks. Marlon is not for sale. Rafael Damian Suarez, Marçal, Eduardo, and Savarino are all out against LDU from Quito this Thursday, April 11th in Ecuador. April 11th, my birthday. So I hope Botafogo gets the win and gives me that birthday win on Thursday because I will be watching it from home. Um, but those players are out. Damian Suarez is out due to the red card he got against Red Bull Bragantino. Still out from that red card. A direct red card is two game suspension. So Damian Suarez will be on his last uh, suspension this match. And then after that, he'll be ready to go. The other four players all have some sort of muscular injury. Uh, it's common for players coming back from an injury like Rafael to, to have some th these muscular um, injuries because obviously he hasn't played for a very long time. Um, Marçal once again, Eduardo, uh, those guys, I'm not sure why they're having these uh, injuries. Same for Savarino, but they are all out. Seska from Russia is trying to sign Emerson Urso from Botafogo. Yes, Emerson Urso, the third or fourth choice for um, right winger, left winger, he is maybe on the way out. The Russian club already made contacts with Botafogo wanting to know more about the player and his transfer status. So more to come about Emerson Urso and the Russian club. Igor Gabriel is getting loaned out to Confianza to play the Brazilian Serie C, the third tier of Brazilian football. The idea is for the young goalkeeper to get playing time, to get starting time, which about the Fogo, he has now become the fourth choice for a goalkeeper because the club has got you to Fernandes, John is returning from injury, and um, Raul is now the third keeper for the season. So Igor Gabriel is getting loaned out, so good luck to him. Today at Botafogo TV, Rafael participated in the podcast the same one that John Texer participated um, on the a uh, couple weeks ago. And Rafael spoke about his retirement. Rafael is very keen on ending his successful career that he's had throughout his his lifetime, especially in Europe, very successful with Manchester United, especially. Um, and he said it does not matter if Botafogo wins every title and if he is the best right back of the league, he is calling it quits at the end of the year. John Texter was going to get his court hearing today about what he said during the Palmeiras and Botafogo match at the um, that happened in the Brazilian last year. That second one, the Palmeiras ended up getting that insane, insane second half, insane in the terms of being horrible for Botafogo and good for Palmeiras. Uh, what he said, if you guys... I'm, if you guys don't remember, John Texer talked about corruption at the end of that match. He was going to have his court hearing today in regards to that, but it got delayed. The same one that is uh, urging John Texer to be banned from Brazilian football, even banned from working his other clubs internationally. Um, they went ahead and postponed uh, Texer's hearing, which is a joke. It, this whole thing is a joke. I, I told you guys I'm going to bring you a video a detailed video speaking of all of this legal matter that's going on between john texture and the brazilian governing body uh, the football governing body as well as the senate 
as well as um, the owners and the president of all the Brazilian clubs. They, they seem to have band together in this vendetta against John Texter. So I will make a video about that. But I told you this was going to be a quick one. This is going to be rapid fire. So thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe because I am, I am very present and I, I am very active on Twitter slash X. But with this whole Brazilian government and Elon Musk um, having having a lot of issues with each other and X being um, really being talked about being banned in Brazil. So if you watch this on X, please go to the YouTube page and subscribe there. We are 5000 followers on X, but uh, 1700, 1. 1.7 thousand um, here on YouTube. So so let's get that number up. So you guys can make sure that you keep up with everything I have to say. It doesn't matter where you watch from. So even if you have Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. There's only 200 followers over there. So let's get these numbers up so I am able to get this message and spread the Alvinegro gospel around the globe. See you guys on the next video and hopefully bringing you news about a win on Thursday.